right, so this is Nick Fry's sweatshop workshop with Bacon Hell. Welcome to the class. Uh, so uh, for the standard three-point, uh, three-row head that I make and I spin, it's a crown sinnet. It's self-cored with its own termination. You start with three ropes, three-eighth kev uh, kev uh, three Kevlar, um, five foot long. Um, you have a, a center chain over the center rope. Three ropes are laid out, so the bottom rope, middle rope, top rope, it's counterclockwise how they're laid, like stair steps. Around. To start the braid, you create a pocket, go over one rope. Then that goes the, the rope you went over goes over the rope you went over it and the next, it and the next, it and the next, it and the next, and then the last one goes over the one went over it and over and through. Not under and through, over and through, or it'll mess your pattern completely. You're gonna tighten by going counterclockwise, everything is always counterclockwise. Uh, the, the, the three ropes, I forgot to mention, are marked in the center with a black rope and taped on the end so they don't fray. Uh, you want to keep them marked in the center where the chain is, and we're going to slowly tighten it in counterclockwise to pull the slack out. If you go counterclockwise or try to pull two ropes at once, all you're going to do is loosen it up. So as you tighten, let's see if I can we're gonna have just a thumb with a little bit of wiggle room to do it. That's all the, let's see my black lines move in. All black lines matter. And, I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we should have laughed or if we should just like, <laughs> <laughs> silent. <laughs> They have to rap guy, they have to laugh or else they're not going to get yeah. the witch. So, um, <laughs> you, so you, you have just a, a little button for the starting point with a, just a thumb inside, a little bit of wiggle room. To continue, after you get the first layer second, the way I do it is I do it like braiding hair. I go over the rope, and then I hold it with my thumb, pull it out of the way, go over the next, pull it out of the way, and I'm, I'm turning the wick clockwise as I go counterclockwise with the ropes. Boom, over, boom, over. The last one goes over the first one and through the pocket, dropping in. And it'll look like a nice little flower. You're gonna slowly pull the tension out by going counterclockwise around, all right? The various stages in making the wicks are where we're at now with everybody. Suze, can I see your wicks? Bam. So, pliers. To tighten wicks, all right, so the next step, you're gonna run these ropes through the center if the chain's already pulled through. So the chain goes up the middle and out. These ropes are gonna go through the middle and through the original holes. To do that, you need long pliers. You get them at Lowe's, they're not too expensive. You're gonna go through the uh, original six holes. You're gonna twizzle it in by wiggling and twisting. Don't force it. Grab the rope nearest that hole. Here's the top. Pull it back through like that. After you do all six, we're gonna tighten the ropes by going to the right here. Did someone grab that? Um, uh, so with this rope right here, we're gonna grab and go low and twist up. And we're gonna work our way around, all the way up, pulling the tension out until we're there. And it's like, don't pull the bottom ropes, all six out until you've got all the tension out completely, and then at the very end, we'll pull in tension. That's the class. Any questions, add made with pride.